just installed the door from Door Wind Group. Thank you to Vincent and Lillian, salespeople. The door came and it fits like a glove. Frame was perfect. Uh, everything actually went really smooth. I've never installed one of these doors before and all in all, it probably took me about seven, eight hours. I had help from one guy for about four hours just to lift the panels into place. That's pretty good considering there's no instructions on how to do these things or anything, but if you're a bit of a tinkerer, it's pretty intuitive. Give you a bit of a preview of the mechanics here. I left a protective wrap on, but they are black. So this is the deadbolt. And it, it a bit different. It has a bit of a free spin part and then it locks. And then it turns, but it does the job. So if it's locked, you cannot open the door. And then you unlock it, okay. And then all the pins unlock. And you can see the mechanism here. When I pull the handle up, it locks all of the pins down the door. There's four total. And they go into those pins there. This is for the latch and the deadbolt. Um, yeah, really good seal all the way around, I would say too. I don't know if I installed that correctly. I have plugs to put in there, but I wanted my hardware on the inside part of the thermal brake. This is the bifold door, triple pane, low E argon with the thermal brake. I might add some hardware here because this is a plastic channel. That's a lot of weight to go from the hinge across a plastic channel. It is working really good right now, but. Okay, and then these handles here, you turn and it has got bumpers. I'll show you on the bottom when I turn the handle, they come out and they pinch into that track to keep the door from moving. They're pretty tight. Uh, you could wrap maybe you could do a heat shrink over it or something like that if you wanted it to be a little bit tighter because i'll show you if i close it and lock it there's a wee just a little bit of wiggle room you can see the gaskets are still all seating but if you wanted that little eh, you could put something there anyway so you open the handle and you push the door open. <clears throat> I still have to put on the, there's some little holders that help it uh, hold the doors together. And then you open this one, push it out. And then it's very hard to see here, but there's this one is the style with the bottom roller, right? very smooth, very quiet. And that's it. So that's the door. And then you have a big opening in your room. I have also ordered the bug screen that goes over the whole opening. That'll be a different review after drywall and stuff is all done. I'm going to install that on the finished part of the wall. In this case, we're just going to, actually they're, they were so precise that the rough opening called for a half inch and that is exactly where we're at. That also helps steel framing, but we're going to run our half inch drywall right up to here and then just caulk it and done. So yeah, good job guys. One of three doors installed. I have another one there to do yet and then uh, go from there.